We all have to know this to improvise, capitalize on prayer. Let's continue. She was saying there was a spirit of consecration then. In that there is not now. What has come over the professed peculiar people of God? How come when we say prayer, fasting, a day of rejoicing with God, not many people come? There is a reason. Let's go. The Holy Spirit. You may not understand what God is going to do to you today. Please. The Holy Spirit will renew every organ of the body that God's servants may work acceptably and successfully. Vitality increases under the influence of the Spirit's action. Amen? If you have not been in good health, if you pray the Holy Spirit, please look here. It will renew every organ. Whether you believe it or not, this is against medical science. What the medical science cannot do, God's Holy Spirit can renew every organ in your body right now through prayer. And He's going to renew your organs. Those of you who have not been in good health, maybe you had a hard time with your stomach pain. Maybe you had migraine headache or your leg problem. Or maybe something is wrong with your digestive system or you have not been able to think clearly. Your eyesight, believe it. Take it by faith through prayer, the Holy Spirit. So how are we going to pray for this? I'm going to show you three quotations and then we are going to pray for something extraordinary. Let's go to the next one. Do we realize the magnitude of the work in which we are engaged? If we did, there would be more fervency in our prayers. We would plead. Shall we read it together? We would plead for power as a angry child. I have two children. Very, very hyper kids. Uh, one day they told me, Dad, we want you to take to the nearest plaza for pizza. I said, surely I will take you in the evening. But I was so busy, I could not take it. The next day I came out and said, and they came with all the friends, about 15 of them. And then my daughter started telling her, do you know, my father is a liar? I said, yesterday he told us he's taking us for pizza, but he, daddy, you are a liar, right? I quietly slipped and went into the room, you know. It was so embarrassing. If they ask something, I have to give it. And until they give it, they will manipulate, they will do. If I don't give, they'll go to the mother. If the mother doesn't give, they will make sure they get it. That taught me many. Do I pray and, and bug my father like that? Let me show you another one. Yes. There is constant danger of the church becoming cold, conforming to the habits and practices of the world. Unless the people of God, let's read it together. Unless the people of God watch and pray, spirituality will go out of the heart as water out of a... How many of you are leaky vessel? If you don't watch and pray, let me say this again, your spirituality will go out of your heart like water, like a leaky vessel. Wow. Have you any time seen a leaking vessel, a bucket with a hole? No matter how much you fill, if you don't watch, if you don't pray. Friends, you will be a leaking vessel. Right now, as you're all seated, I want all of you to close your eyes. All of you to close your eyes. Pray, God, remove self, remove selfishness. Remove ego, remove pride. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. It's all about you. Lord, I want to die. I die daily. Surrender your heart. Ask God to destroy your ego, your pride, your self. That only you. For me, to live is Christ. But to die is gain. I must decrease. Two minutes of prayer.
Amen. I want to read one more quotation as we enter into another session of prayer. We have confessed our sins. We have asked God to remove self and pride and ego and the Holy Spirit is enthroned. You know what will happen? These scenes ought to be repeated and with greater power, the latter rain will be more abundant. The Spirit awaits our demand and reception. Right now, as you are seeing the rain, that is a symbolic gesture of God telling you, I am about to pour the latter rain on you. Amen? Do you know how difficult it was for us to sit a few hours ago? Yes? Let me tell you an answer to prayer. When I first wanted to have this ministry, I discussed with Ronald, my friend. I said, how nice it will be to have t-shirts if we have the prayer meeting. So I talked to one of my friends and said, where can we get t-shirts for a very cheap price? So my friend said, you should go to a place called Divisoria. So I got the address. I got into the bus. Now that day, Dr. Sibrian met me and dropped me till Mamsi. I took a train from Hilpuya, went all the way to a certain place, got down. I went to Divisoria. I got the address. We were negotiating for T-shirts. And all of a sudden, I heard a lady's voice, Pastor Paul. I know for sure I don't know any lady in Divisoria. I was very shocked when I heard somebody calling my name. I turned back. Honestly, I knew it was a very familiar face. By the way, she was not that beautiful like my wife, but it's okay, you know. She was second beautiful. First was my wife, okay. She said, Pastor Paul, why are you here? I said, I've come to buy t-shirts. You know, that woman, I met her during the month of February for the first time. For another event like this, we had a CCC meet. That's the first time I remember meeting that woman. Very graceful, very loving, hospitable. She will go extra mile. She said, why are you here? I said, we want to buy t-shirts. And I had very minimal, minimal budget. The woman said, don't worry, give the order and go. I said, what? Give the order and go? I want to tell you, that's how we had the prayer meeting. I did not pay even a single pie. I got 100 t-shirts free. Amen? Yes. Then I continued to say, this time I should not trouble the woman. Maybe I will ask for a cheaper quotation. So I again dealt with the same wonderful second beautiful woman by God's grace. The t-shirt that you and I are wearing today, she took all the interest, she talked to different people and she's the one who talked to different sponsors, donors and I'm going to ask that woman to come forward. Please come front, my friend. I want you to come. Let's all give her a hand. My beloved sister, I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, did you know that I was coming to Divisoria? I didn't know. Okay. I want to ask you a question. What made you do all these things? Why did you go extra mile? I'm asking this so that people will know how prayer works. Why, why are you doing all this? You don't have to. I am not your relative. I am not your countryman. I am not 5'6". Well, why did you do this? I'm doing this for, of course, for Christ, and I, I really love doing like this since when I, uh, when I was a Catholic. Now, when I, when, now I'm an Adventist, I'm, I love doing it more. I love to help, just like my parents are telling me, you help others even though they are not Catholic or even, uh, even they are not, uh, I mean, the rich or the poor, as long as they need their help, you help them. I want to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Shall we all give her a hand? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Well, our next meeting is October 17th in next already arranged, okay? This is just, I know prayer works. Today we are going to pray and I know God has already answered my prayer. Amen? Please say amen if you want t-shirt. Okay, now let's do that. Okay. 
Now we are getting into another session of prayer. Uh, I'm going to ask the AUP students to come and give us a song. After which we are getting into another deeper level of prayer. AUP students, who is coming? Just come. <laughs> 